pull up a deck chair and sit back, relax. It's time for your favorite cruise hour. You're on board, just cruising. Whether you're dreaming of your first cruise or planning your next one, join Larry Jackson as he explores the magical world of cruising. To launch today's cruise, here's Larry Jackson. Good morning. Aloha. Hey, como mai? And welcome aboard. I'm Larry Jackson, owner of Cruise Holidays of Vieira. I'll be your cruise director for this week's edition of our radio magazine that's all about the magical world of travel. And thanks so much for making us a part of your Saturday morning if you're watching us or listening to us on WMMB. Uh, before we get started with this today's program, I do want to give you a little program note. Linda and I will be leaving this Monday for another cruise. We're going to be going to Cuba this time. We're uh, escorting, we're leaving Monday morning with 20 of our clients, and we're going to be going down to the port of Miami, where we'll be boarding the Azamara Quest, a uh, 680-passenger R-class ship, Renaissance-class ship. Uh, we had so much fun on Azamara back in January when we uh, did New Year's Eve with them. And we really wanted to get back on the ship because it is a fabulous cruise line. This is the uh, one of Royal Caribbean's cruise lines. It's kind of like the upper scale portion of Royal Caribbean. Uh, and we had such a great time. We wanted to get back on board. And then th they rearranged their schedule when Cuba opened up for the first time around. And they brought on board this first time cruise to Cuba aboard the Azamar Quest. So we said, let's go, and we invited a bunch of folks, and they said yes, and they went, they're went. they going with us. Uh, we're going to be going down to Key West the first day and seeing how things are down there. I hear everything's back up and running. Then we're off to Cuba. We'll actually spend two days in Cuba overnight there in the port. Uh, actually, we're going to be there on Thanksgiving Day, so that should be different. That'll be a different place to spend Thanksgiving in, in Havana. And then we go to Cozumel, and we'll spend uh, the evening, the night, and then another evening in Cozumel. Uh, Cozumel is going to be very special. But one of the things that Azamar Cruise Lines does is they have what's known as the Oz Amazing Evening. And this uh, occurs on each of their cruises. And what they do is they create a very special shoreside event. Uh, the one we did in Tigua in at Tigua on New Year's was a fireworks display with a local band and um, a reception with the Governor General of Antigua uh, at the government house. The one we're going to be doing Cozumel, uh, I don't know what it's all going to be involving, but it's going it's called Mariachi on the Beach. So uh, I'll let you know all about that. But this is uh, that's a really neat thing that Azamara does, and they bring the whole ship, they bring buses in, they take you to a a secluded private place. Uh, they set up uh, hors d'oeuvres and a bar, and then they have music and entertainment. And it's called the Aza Amazing Evenings on Aza Mara. So we'll we'll let you know how that went when we get back. All of that means why is this a program now? Well, because that means that next week's show will be a best of. So I just wanted to let you know about that. We'll try to have a really good show for you. Well, let's look at uh, what's going on in the world of cruising this week. Uh, before we get to the news of the week, I do want to tell you about something. Uh, last week, we told you that the Harmony of the Seas is going to be coming to us here at Port Canaveral to replace the Oasis of the Seas, and this is going to occur in May of 2019. We also told you that the booking window would open uh, tomorrow, or I'm sorry, today, but Royal Caribbean released the booking window early. And we got notification from our rep. And what we did was we went online and we reserved some group space for the inaugural sailings of the Harmony of the Seas when she comes here to Port Canaveral. These will be her first uh, three cruises. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than when the Oasis came up to us uh, November before last. In that uh, when the Harmony arrives here, she's going to do two three-day sailings to the Bahamas then she's going to do her first seven-day sailing to the Eastern Caribbean. So let me tell you what we've done and give you the pricing. The first cruise is going to be, the first three-day cruise is going to be on the 6th of May, 2019. That's a Monday. And uh, Monday through Thursday, then she is going to be going to um, Coco Key. 
Now, this is interesting because uh, you say, hey, this is a big ship and they can't tender. How are they going to be able to go to Coco Key? Well, right now there's a pier being built at Coco Key, Royal Caribbean's private island. So the Royal, so the Harmony of the Seas will be able to go there and dock. Now, so can you imagine being on one of these mega ships, Oasis class ships for, for a four day cruise? That's what's going to be happening. Now, the price for that, so she'll leave on Monday evening and return on Thursday morning. That's May 6th through May 9th. The price on that is $484 per person. Uh, all the prices I'm going to give you are an ocean facing balcony cabin. Uh, that's that's the best balcony cabin on the uh, ship outside of the suites. So this is for an ocean facing balcony cabin. This will be the four day cruise Monday through Thursday, May 6th through the 9th of 2019. It'll be $484. Following that sailing, uh, on Thursday evening, she's going to be leaving, and then she's going to go to Nassau. Uh, the previous one was going Coco Key and Nassau. This will be the three-day sh- uh, sh- sailing, leaving on Thursday, the 9th of May, and returning on Sunday morning, the 12th of May. So it'll be three-day sailing to Nassau. The price for that one is going to be $513. Now, this, the sailing that you're probably most interested in is going to be the one on May 12th, and that'll be the seven-day Eastern Caribbean. And what she's going to be doing on that cruise is she'll be going to Coco Key. Now, when the Harmony is here at Port Canaveral, she's not going to be uh, going to Labadee like we've been doing with the Oasis because Coco Key will have their pier, and so you'll have the private island there. It'll be a day at sea and then off to St. Thomas, uh, followed by St. Martin. And then two days at sea on the way back to Port Canaveral. So the dates on this will be the 12th of May through the 19th of May. The pricing on this, very reasonable price, will be $1,111 per person. Now, all the prices I'm giving you are port charges and taxes, and these are the group rates that we have available for you that we're going to be holding for you. Now, if you want to do something really different, what you can do is combine the three-day cruise on the 9th of May with the seven-day cruise on the 12th of May, so you can have a 10-day cruise from the 9th of May to the 19th of May. And so it's be like a little back-to-back, three days going to, to Nassau, and then seven days going to the Eastern Caribbean. Now, if you want to do that, the total cost will be $1,624 per person, $1,624. This is the per-person rate, double occupancy, and an ocean-facing balcony. So we don't have this posted up on our webpage yet. We'll get it up later on, uh, and we'll uh, send out an email to all of you who are on our email list about this. But if you'd like more information or if you'd like to make a reservation, call us at Cruise Holidays of Vieira at 321 242 1331. You can also go to our webpage, vieira.cruiseholidays.com. And then up in the right hand corner there, you'll see our email address. It says, O Cruise Holidays at cfl.rr.com. If you just click that, it'll bring up an email page and you can email us and say, hey, I want to go on the Harmony inaugural sailings and let us know whether you want to go on the, the four day, which is the first one. It's going to be on the 6th of May or the three day on the 9th of May or the 9th of May combined with the seventh seven day cruise on the 12th of May. Okay. Got all these uh, ways to sail on the Harmony to welcome her here to Port Canaveral. And uh, we at Cruise Holidays of Vieira will be very happy to make this a great cruise for you. Now, we will have hopefully next week, or I'm sorry, the week after next, we will have information for you about the Mariner of the Seas inaugural sailings when she comes here to Port Canaveral. And we'll be uh, that deployment supposed to open up today. And if that happens, then we'll take down some group space, uh, create a special cruise for you all, and you can choose whether you want to go on the Mariner of the Seas inaugural cruise when she comes here in May of 2019. Exciting things happening here at Port Canaveral. And we hope you'll uh, be a part of that. And we want you to be able to get on the ground floor with great pricing. Well, I think the band is here. And that always indicates to us that we've come to our first port of call. We're going to run ashore for a very brief timeout. We come back. We'll talk about the news of the week and the world of travel. So please stay with us and come back and join us. We'll see you then.
This is Just Cruising on 1240 and 1350 WMMV. Here's Larry. Hiya, we're back. We had a little technical difficulty there. George and I both lost our headsets right in the middle of that last scene. But being the professionals we are, we soldiered on and uh, hope you didn't notice. Well, this week, Port Canaveral announced a new record for the number of passengers visiting here on the Space Coast. We logged four and a half million cruise passengers last year. This is uh, based on the fiscal year from October 1st of 2016 to September 30th of 2017. Uh, The multi-day passengers were 4.2, which was up 7.1%. And the uh, the the one day cruise passengers was up. Passenger figures were up six point four percent. So great news! Um, this is and a, a prediction here. Twenty nineteen is going to be much better than this because with bringing the harmony here and the Mariner of the Seas here, uh, the Mariner of the Seas is really going to increase our three and four day cruise traffic from here at Port Canaveral because it's she's so much better a ship than what we have currently. And uh, Norwegian Cruise Line is going to be here more uh, next year uh, doing Cuba. So uh, our passenger counts are going to continue to climb. Now, what does that mean to you? That means revenue for the port, which means revenue for here. all of us here in Brevard County. People come, they spend money, they stay in hotels, they go on excursions. Uh, they keep taxi cab drivers employed. All of that, I know, trickle down. It trickles down, and it helps the tax base here in Brevard County. And my uh, congratulations to the port commissioners, the staff, all of you folks that work out there at the port, checking people into the cruises. You all contribute to this wonderful growth and passenger figures that we have we are experiencing here at Port Canaveral. And it's well-deserved congratulations and, and good job, everybody. Well, I've got some more news about the itineraries. Uh, the cruise lines are returning to our islands that were damaged by our two hurricanes earlier in the year. And so I'll just read you a, a, a timeline for some of the cruise lines that we haven't announced before. Uh, for the port of St. Thomas, the island of St. Thomas, Holland America is expecting to go back on November. Oh, went back on November 8th, sorry. Princess uh, went back on November 12th. Royal Caribbean is expecting their first, uh, this is their first commercial cruise there on November 30th to St. Thomas. Uh, previously, they sent a ship on November 10th, but she was bringing supplies and personnel to kind of assess the damage. The Carnival Cruise Lines is expecting to go back to St. Thomas on January 9th. As far as St. Martin is concerned, Royal Caribbean is anticipating their first cruise back to St. Martin on December 17th. San Juan. Now, San Juan is open for departures. We have uh, one ship, the Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Seas, is going in and out of uh, San Juan. That's her home port. But uh, these are the um, cruise lines that are going to be going in for stopovers. Now, Carnival Cruise Line on November 30th, Royal Caribbean uh, as a port of call on November 30th, Holland America December 7th, Costa Cruises December 17th, Seaborn December 18th, and Princess Cruises December 20th. Uh, finally, Grand Turk, which has been closed. Carnival went started back on November 1st, and Holland America started back on November 6th. Uh, Princess will be going back on December 15th. So that brings you up to speed on what's going on with the islands. I guess our big one is Royal Caribbean going back to St. Martin on December 17th. Well, you've been hearing a lot of news about the tax plan. And as usual, there are little bombshells hidden in the, how many pages, thousands of pages or whatever. Uh, The one in the Senate bill contains a little nugget that you probably haven't heard much about. And that is a proposed income tax for cruise lines uh, operating in U.S. waters during the time that they're in U.S. waters. Now, for many decades, the cruise lines have really bugged Congress because they're incorporated outside of the United States. They're foreign flagged, and uh, they make a lot of money. And a lot of people cruise on them, and billions of dollars are spent. And when the United States Congress sees money floating around that they can't get their hands on, it really infuriates them. But not to be outdone, they managed to tuck away a little thing into the tax bill that will uh, tax 
cruise lines while they're in U.S. waters. So not only are they paying port charges, not only are they paying port taxes, now they want to get a piece of them with income taxes. Now, the stock analysts have uh, assessed this bill, and they've looked at all the itineraries of the different cruise lines, and they estimate that this will cost the cruise lines about $70 million. No, it won't. It would cost you, the consuming public, $70 $70 million because it's all going to be passed along right along to you. Don't forget our cruise lines are large corporations with stockholders and publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And uh, they're not going to let a little thing like a bunch of folks in Congress uh, stand in the way of their profits. So this is going to be passed right along to you. Uh, their proposal is uh, while uh, the other thing they're going to do is they'll just alter their itinerary so they don't spend as much time in the United States. And, uh, again, combined with the Jones Act, it's just going to make cruising that much more inconvenient. They may shift to um, places, you know, start their cruises in Barbados or things like that instead of Miami. But uh, that's what I always call unintended consequences. Uh, Congress is really good at unintended consequences. They don't care. They just want to grab some more money. So um, the article I have said the uh, cruise income is defined as the part of a voyage that occurs in U.S. territorial waters 12 miles from shore. It essentially applies to the embarkation and disembarkation days of cruises that leave from U.S. ports on ships owned by foreign corporations. Uh, Currently, cruise lines do pay income on their land-based activities such as shore excursions in Alaska, but that's really a very minor part of their total income. So thank you, U.S. Congress. Your uh, cruises are going to cost more money if this gets through. Maybe it gets taken out in conference or maybe adults come to their senses in Washington, but that hasn't happened recently. Uh, Virgin Voyages, Charles Branson, the folks that bought you Virgin and then brought you Virgin uh, Airlines, Virgin Atlantic, Uh, is going to be launching a new cruise line in 2020 called Virgin Voyages. And it's going to be a very unique cruise line in that all guests will have to be 18 years or older to sail on Virgin Voyages. Uh, They are calling this, uh, quote, adult by design, unquote. Uh, It is their uh, latest evolution in branding uh, for Virgin the uh, according to this article, focus had shifted to the young at heart cruise travelers, a ca- category that includes both millennials as well as those looking for a more boutique cruise experience. So Sir Richard uh, Branson unveiled this uh, a few weeks ago. 86% of the ship's cabins will have a sea terrace. We call them balconies. <laughs> they call them sea terrace, whatever. <laughs> 93% will have an ocean view, and that's not unlike most of our new ships. Uh, the ships are going to be called lady ships, uh, meant to be a play on terms for your ladyship, a nod to you to Virgin's British heritage, uh, the spirit the spirit, the, the bow spirit uh, of the ship will be represented by a mermaid. Uh, you can now book this. Uh, we will be happy to book it for you. I'm not, uh, we don't know that much about it, but uh, they are uh, taking a $500 per cabin refundable deposit. And if you'd like to book with Virgin Voyages, um, Cruise Holidays of Vieira, as we always say, if it floats, we can book it. So uh, give us a call at Cruise Holidays of Vieira, 321-242-1331. By the way, another little program note, in the next segment when when we come back from our break, I'm going to give you a little tour of our website the Cruise Holidays of Vieira website because there's so much information and neat features on there. I'd I'd like to walk you through it. So the reason I'm telling you this now is before the break, go grab your iPhone, your iPad, or your computer because I'm going to ask you to sign on to our webpage, and then we're going to walk through it together so I can show you all the really cool things that are on there. Uh, Oh, one story I want to finish from last week. We talked about uh, Royal Caribbean had a conference in New York City where they rolled out some of their new technology that they're bringing aboard their ships, such as facial recognition. So when you check in at the pier, there's no lines. You walk right on the ship because they know who you are and what you're doing, and everything's already been done online before you get there. One of the things that uh, Royal Caribbean is doing also in high technology is in fuel consumption on their boats – 
what they have done is they have started what's called an air lubrication system. And what this does is it coats the coats the hulls of the ship with millions of microscopic air bubbles to reduce the uh, friction on the hull. So these, there's a little envelope of air that goes around the um, the the uh, understructure of the uh, ships, the Royal Caribbean ships. And what they uh, have done is they've recu- re- re- uh, reduced fuel consumption by 7 to 8% just by little tiny mi- millions and millions of microscopic little air bubbles floating around the hull of the ship. Now, you can't see this. You don't even know it's there. Uh, it's uh, a switch that the captain can turn on a lot like... It's a lot like the stabilizers. They're out there. You don't know they're there, but they're doing their job to keep you more comfortable and keep the sway of the ship down. Uh, I think this is really cool. Royal Caribbean is really working hard to come up with some innovations. Well, here's the band again. Uh, We're coming to our next port of call. We're going to take a very brief time out. We come back. Let's do a little walkthrough of the Cruise Holidays of Vieira website. So grab your iPad, iPhone, or your computer, and uh, we'll walk you through it. So please join us. Coming back in the port, it's just cruising on 1240 and 1350 WMMB. Hi, we're back. Uh, before we get started on our little uh, tour of our website, I just wanted to, if you missed the first part of the show, tell you about the Harmony of the Seas initial cruises out of here at Port Canaveral. There'll be two three-day sailings, uh, one on the 6th of May, I'm sorry, a three and a four-day cr- sailing. The one on the 6th of May will be a four-day leaving on Monday returning on Thursday morning. The price for that is $484 per person for an ocean-facing balcony double occupancy. There will be a second three-day sailing on the 9th of May through the Sunday of the 12th of May going to Nassau and back the the previous the four days going to Nassau and Coco Key. That one will be $514 per person. And then the seven-day cruise, which will be the 12th of May 2019, going to Coco Key, Uh, St. Thomas, St. Martin, and two days at sea and back to Port Canaveral on the 19th of May. That one will have a pricing of uh, $1,111 per person. That includes port charges and taxes. If you'd like more information about this 2019 initial sailing of the Harmony of the Seas out of Port Canaveral, please call us at Cruise Holidays of Vieira, 321-242-1331. Or better yet, send us an email, uh, O Cruise Holidays. That's the letter O, not zero. O Cruise Holidays at cfl.rr.com or go to our webpage, which is vieira.cruiseholidays.com. So if you'll, if you'll join me there, if you've got an iPad, a tablet, uh, put that in your address bar, or you can uh, actually just go Cruise Holidays of Vieira and Google and bring that up and we'll walk through it. Now I'm going to do it on an iPad Pro, so it may look a little different on a computer than um than what I'm going to do. So we're going to start off right on the top. It says about us. And when you click that, that uh, button, it brings up <coughs> a, uh, a link to show you a, uh, a, what, a map of our store and where we're located. Excuse me, just one second. Typical. I lost the page, so we'll be right back with you. And okay. <laughs> That's really embarrassing. Okay, here we're, we're back again. So we're viera.cruiseholidays.com. Uh, also up there is a contact us button. And when you click that, it's going to take you uh, to a page where you can send us an email. And uh, it, it's very easy format for you to do. You just fill in your name, your email address, and then you type in the message that you'd like to, um, to send us. Next to that is a little thing that says our blog. And we publish this oh, um, several times a month, and there's all kinds of different articles. The one I'm looking at shows a comparison of the Harmony versus the Oasis of the Seas, <clears throat> excuse me, which is something we talked about last week. And um, so we have our blog there, and you can see all of that. 
And when you come back to our home page here, uh, the next thing you'll see there's some blue there's some uh, bars there that uh, say exclusive offers, more specials, cruise lines, destinations, resources, and reviews. If you click the cruise lines button, it brings you up a list of uh, a whole bunch of different cruise lines, and you can just cr- click each one. And when that comes up, it'll give you information about that cruise line, and it takes you and tells you all about that cruise line. So you can it gives you an idea of what's going on with those different cruise lines, and you can pr- compare. Uh, same thing happens with destinations. When you click resources and reviews, you can see uh, cruise and travel related articles. There's a whole, some of them are cruise lines. Um, so just punch that and there's all kinds of articles there. So kind of neat. The next block rotates. It's a set of windows and it basically features all of the specials that we have going on either from ourselves or our uh, cruise partners. And then just below that, you'll see another page that uh, block that constantly changes. And those are um, reviews that people have written about us at Cruise Holidays of Vieira. So if you want to get some information and find out what other people think about Cruise Holidays of Vieira, as you scroll on down, you'll see a picture of Linda and myself, my lovely and gracious wife, Linda Jackson, the co-owner of Cruise Holidays of Vieira. And then another uh, page with special offers. If you just hit that button um, it, where it says learn more, it'll bring you up to all the different things that we're, we are um, featuring. Now, one other thing, when you go to that page where it says uh, special offers, there is another, and keep on scrolling down below, and you'll see our online travel magazines. And we have, what is it, one, two, three, four, four travel magazines there, Luxury Travel, Postcards Magazine, Inspired. And these are very nicely done. Uh, you can read them right there online. They've got great pictures, and it's, it's great information about um, different travel. So that's under Exclusive Offers. When you go to the Exclusive Offers button and you keep on scrolling down, uh, it will take you to our online magazines. Then the next box is really, I think, is really neat because it's called Find the Perfect Cruise. It allows you to search a whole bunch of different cruise lines and months, even destinations. And then if you find what you're looking for, you just hit a button and it sends us an email and says you're in, you're interested in going on that cruise. And then we get in touch with you. It's a real easy way to search for cruises without having to go to multiple websites for each of the different cruise lines. By the way, if you're just joining us, you're on board Just Cruising. My name is Larry Jackson, owner of Cruise Holidays of Vieira. And what we're doing is we're doing a little walkthrough of our website because there's a tremendous amount of of information here. Uh, The the address for our website is vieira.cruiseholidays.com. And we're just uh, scrolling down. You can do it on your iPhone or your smart tablet or your computer, however you want to. We're, our web page is enabled for all of that. And we just passed the, the Find the Perfect Cruise box. And so we're going to keep scrolling down to uh, the next box that says Join Our VIP E-News. And if you hit the subscribe button, it'll ask you for some information, and you'll be on our mailing list. And uh, one of the things uh, that we did this last week on our mailing list, we found some incredible last-minute balcony guarantee rates on the Oasis of the Seas. I can't tell you about them on the radio because I don't know if they're even going to be here, uh, you know, this morning on Saturday uh, because they go away so fast. So uh, we sent that out to all of our folks who subscribe on our e-news email. So that allows you to do that. The next box is our Just Cruising podcast. And if you go and hit the Play Now button there, what that's going to do is it's going to bring you the last one, two, three, four, five, six, um, I don't know, 18 shows. And so if you missed a show, it's got a little recap of each of the shows, and you can go back and listen to the Just Cruising podcast. There's also some buttons down there called Get It on iTunes or Get It on Google Play, which allows you to bring up our podcast in either of those. Then the next button is a big question mark. It says, Ask the Travel Guy. If you've got any questions about travel or cruising that you'd like to get answered, uh, please click that and ask me the question. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, with the, uh, as soon as I can find the right answer. And if it's an uh, interesting enough question, we'll feature it here on the radio. Then we go to our v- featured vacations, our escorted vacations, um, and just shows you some of the things that uh, Linda and I will be escorting in the coming year. Next box is our blog, 
and uh, this is where we post our videos. Now, one of the uh, the videos that's there, there's a apple with a snake on it, and it says Eden. Although part of the Eden is a is an apple. If you click that, it'll take you on a video tour of Celebrity's new cru- new cruise ship that will be launching in December of 2018, and that's the Edge. And we'll have a uh, group on board that if you'd like to join us. Then there's another link there to National Geographic's Best Trips of 2017. That is a beautiful feature. It has some of the best photography I've ever seen of some of, some of the most gorgeous places in the world. It's it's a true Sears catalog wish book uh, listing with pictures, and it is just very, very well done. So that's in our, the our blog section of our website page, viera.cruiseholidays.com. Hopefully you're still with me and looking at all this. Then there's a red button there that says subscribe. When you hit that, that takes you to our YouTube channel. And our YouTube channel will allow you to see the Just Cruise and Broadcast if uh, you'd like to see what it looks like while we're doing it. And it also allows you to subscribe so that when we post our shows each week, they'll come automatically to you in an email, and then you can go right there and click it and watch this week's show. You don't have to remember what time it is or if it's Saturday morning or whatever. We'll notify you as soon as the show comes up. And then we have our distinctive travel groups. See, I told you there's a ton of stuff here on this website. This is our uh, club that uh, we have about uh, 90 folks that belong to. We meet approximately every month, and we get together with one of our travel partners, and we talk about travel. We meet other people that are interested in travel. Um, we have a, a very nice dinner, and uh, and we get to know each other, and we go traveling together. So that's our Distinctive Travels group, and you can learn more about that. And then finally, uh, not really finally, but we have an app that's dev- devoted just to Cruise Holidays of Vieira, and uh, there's a page there that will take you right to our app, and you can put that on your phone, and then we'll send you notifications when we find good deals and when we put out our new groups and things like that. And then I guess there's a map there to tell you how to get to to us. And then there's some more helpful links, one of which down there in our helpful links is Passport and Visas. And it has pages for you to renew your passport. It tells you about the countries where you need visas. Uh, There's another one there that says check in for your cruise. If you want to register for a cruise, you just click that and it'll take you to all the different websites for the cruise lines to register online before you get on board your ship. Okay, wow, there is a ton of information there on viera.cruiseholidays.com. I hope you have a chance to look around and scout around. There's a lot more there that I didn't even talk about. So it's a great web page to, to spend a little uh, time on. So hope you'll have a good time there at viera.cruiseholidays.com. Well, the band is here, and we're at our last port of call. We're going to run ashore one more time. So please stay with us, and we'll be right back. Good to have you with us on Just Cruising. Contact Larry on his website at vieira.cruiseholidays.com. Hi there. Welcome back. So glad you're with us. Uh, once again, we're on our way to Cuba on Monday, and uh, next week we'll be doing a best of show, so I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed our little tour of our website. I, I'm telling you, you can spend a whole afternoon there. It's vieira.cruiseholidays.com. So go and have a good time. If you got any questions about it, be sure and call us at Cruise Holidays Viera, 321-242-1331. And uh, we'll answer questions about our website. Also, uh, I, now I like to get on the website a lot and practice and do all the different little things there to make sure they're all working. So if you find something that's not working, please let us know about that also because – I think there's nothing worse than a website that says it's doing something and doesn't do it. And I hate people that don't go on their websites and keep them up to date. But we spend a lot of time, effort, and money keeping that website up. So I uh, hope you'll enjoy it. Hey, here's five must-have things when you travel. 
okay? And I agree with it. This is really great. First of all, uh, I think whether you're going on a cruise, because uh, when you board, you should carry a carry-on bag with you. Because a couple of things. One, the staterooms are generally not open until the afternoon. So if you're getting on earlier, then maybe you're going to want like a change of clothes or you want to go up and lay by the pool and take a bathing suit or things like that. So what you need is a durable, lightweight, smooth rolling wheelie bag. And that's it. Uh, I'm talking about a little suitcase that fits in the overhead compartment of an airline. These things are indispensable. And you need one that does... It doesn't tilt over and you drag it. It has the fully rotate, fully castering, four wheel castering bags because uh, you you may be spending a lot of time with that carry on luggage. Uh, you may be hauling it around the ship. You may be hauling it through airports. But I think the lightweight and they are making some incredible ones these days. Lightweight carry on bags. I think uh, you have to travel with a smartphone uh, because the cameras today are so phenomenal, especially the iPhone. Uh, I just don't know how anybody can travel without a, a smartphone that has a camera in it because it is so convenient. Uh, you know, I see people lugging these big Nikons and they get to see something and then they got to open up the case, pull it out, put it over, pop the lens cap off. I've got my iPhone out, and now with the new swipe feature um, and no button, you can just it brings up your camera almost instantaneously. So I think that's number two must have is a smartphone. Number three is duct tape. I don't think anybody should travel without duct tape because it is very versatile. You can use it for all kinds of things um, in your cabin, in your uh, um, uh, hotel room. Uh, duct tape is indispensable if you have a luggage malfunction that it's great to have. So all you have to do is take a uh, two-foot strip and just wrap it around a pencil or a marker and stick it in your briefcase, and then you'll have it with you or in that carry-on pay, uh, piece that I was telling you about. Another essential item when you travel is a copy of your passport, and we recommend that you make a color copy of it that you put it in your wallet or in your purse or something that's going to be with you when you're off the ship because most of the time we're going to have our uh, personally we leave our passports locked in the safe of the ship so that they're uh, there because most ports of call you don't need your passport you just need your ship's uh, key card and a picture id so we usually carry our driver's license but it's always good to have a copy of that passport with you in your wallet, not in your carry-on, but actually there on your person in case something goes wrong. And then the next thing, and especially if you travel with Linda, you need lots of Ziploc bags, and those are great for grabbing cookies out of the buffet, um, for uh, all kinds of different things uh, that you want to do with them, but uh, you cannot have enough Ziploc bags. And I always tell people, if we're ever in a ship's emergency and the ship is going down, make sure you're on Linda's lifeboat because that's where all the food's going to be because she travels with a lot of food and she uh, has a lot up there in the cabin too. So uh, where to why? There's just five little handy things that I think are kind of indispensable when you're out traveling uh, the world. Oh, okay. Hey, I do want to tell you about one other thing uh, special that we have. Linda and I in January are going to be going to the Antarctic. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going out with celebrity cruise lines. And we're going to go from Buenos Aires round trip. This is going to happen on January 21st, 2018. We're going to be uh, sailing on the Infinity uh, 14 night cruise out of South America, and we're going to be going down to the Falkland Islands. We're going to go around the Cape Horn, around Cape Horn, um, and then we're going to spend uh, basically about a day and a half cruising around Antarctica. Now, we will not touch the, the continent, but we will be cruising around there. So if you'd like to join us on this cruise, uh, please give us a call at Cruise Holidays of Vieira, 321-242-1331. Uh, the price on this, uh, the cabin for a Ocean View cabin is $9,836. That's for two people and includes port charges and taxes. So, uh, again, we'd love to have you come with us to Antarctica. And that's going to be occurring on January 21st of 2018. Uh, okay. This week, Celebrity Cruise Lines joined... Uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines in announcing a new fare that is going to be a non-refundable deposit. So uh, this seems to be a trend, and I think it's going to be continuing. 
So just a word to the wise, when you're looking at those prices out on there on the internet, it's really nice to have a travel agent or a cruise consultant to go to uh, to see what all of that fare includes. Now the fare will be reduced because the deposit is non-refundable. But uh, they're really serious about this game. They're not going to give you your money back if you change your mind. So starting November 29th, and a lot of times this will be the first fare you're going to see on the Internet. Um, You're also going to be seeing a lot of airfares now that don't include things like seat assignments, carry-on luggage. All of those things are going to carry additional charges. So um, the world of travel is getting a lot more confusing. It's getting a lot more complicated with these new fare structures. So just a word to the wise. be careful out there, or call us at Cruise Holidays of Vera, and we'll make sure you get the best price. U.S. News uh, announced their best cruise line rankings for 2018. Uh, the best cruise line for the money, Royal Caribbean International. The best cruise line for luxury, Crystal Cruises. The best cruise line for families, Disney Cruise Lines. The best couple, I'm sorry, the best cruise line for couple, couples is Seaborn Cruise Lines. The best, uh, this is very interesting because I've been telling you about this cruise line, the best cruise line in the Mediterranean, Viking Ocean Cruises. They're really coming along. If you guys have not checked them out, be sure and call us at Cruise Holidays of Vieira. Viking Ocean Cruises. Best cruise line in the Caribbean, Disney Cruises. And I second that wholeheartedly. Well, we have sadly come to the end of another segment of Just Cruising. We've had a blast being here with you and hope you've enjoyed being with us. Uh, We'll be back next week with a best of show. And the following week, we'll be back live with you. And we'll be telling you all about our cruise to Cuba on Azamara Cruise Lines. So hopefully you'll join us for both of our next shows. Or join us on our podcast or on iHeartRadio's app. And then you can hear us anywhere in the world. So until we see you again, keep on cruising. Jackson of Just Cruisin'. Hope you're enjoying Just Cruisin' here on YouTube. If you'd like to keep up to date on all the videos that we'll be producing here in the, uh, in the near future, all you have to do is click the subscribe button just below my picture here, or you can click right over here for a list of the latest videos. Either way, we look forward to seeing you again. Until we do, keep on cruising.